Hi, thank you for checking out this video. We're going to try to make a lamp like this one without using too much time and without spending too much money. Here are some of the things that you will need. A pair of scissors, a knife or blade, hot glue gun, pliers, wire cutters, a ruler, a marker, decorative tape, a tea light, four cocktail forks, a paper clip. If you don't have cocktail forks, you can use a regular fork. paint, and a paintbrush. Let's get started. This tea light is um, a lot smaller than the regular tea lights. They're about $4 for the pack of four. Try to choose a tape that is the same width as the tea light so you don't have to cut or you don't have any excess on the sides. Of course, you select a color that goes with your decor you can have a lot of fun with them. Once you wrap it around tightly and evenly, I am going to make an incision with my utility knife because this is how the tea light turns on and off by twisting those two parts, the top and the bottom of the tea light. Remove the cardboard so that you can turn it on. So now I know it's working. I'm going to apply paint on the bottom part of the tea light. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be covered with some of the crystals that I'm going to add. Now depending on what you choose to do, you may or may, may not want to add any crystals. Once this side is painted, I'm going to let it dry, turn it over, and do the same thing to the back side of the tea light. While it dries, I'm going to cut the fork. I'm going to mark the length of the crystals that I want to apply. I have options here. I may want to use the tips if I want the chandelier to have very delicate crystals hanging, or I can also use the back side of the uh, forks that are a little bit chunkier, but these crystals, uh, this plastic looks like very fine crystals. So I'm gonna cut both of them just to see to decide which ones I'm going to use. Now that one side is dried, I'm gonna paint the other side. And you really need so, so little paint that I could have also used some nail polish so that you don't have to buy anything special. And it would dry just as quick and do the same job. This is just a regular gold tone paper clip. I'm going to straighten it and I'm going to use this one to hang the uh, pendant or chandelier from. You can use a chain, you can use some rope, whatever you have around the house can be used. I'll cut the handle of the fork. I think that these are prettier and I may just use the handle of the fork rather than the tips. But then again, that is your choice or no embellishment at, at all, that would be fine too. With hot glue, set the strips of um, 
plastic around the inner circle of the tea light. Wait until the glue is dry and they are set. Do the same thing with the outer circle of the tea light. Because it's quite small, I don't think I should put any more so that it doesn't look crowded. Next, with hot glue, I will install the straightened up paper clip. And this will be for the tea light to be suspended from. Just going to wait until it dries. And now this is what it looks like when you turn it on. It is quite pretty. For the real test, this is what it looks like when you turn off the lights. I am comparing it with the one we made last week from a regular size steel light, just so that you get an idea of the scale. This is much smaller. This could be used for a Barbie doll house or for a monster doll or a brat doll. Uh, it could also be used for a 112 scale. But if you think that this is still too big, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel because next week we are going to be posting a video with an even smaller light. Um, tabletop lamps and all kinds of different lamps different views so that you get an idea what it would look like in your house. It is quite exquisite. I thank you for watching and we're going to have fun with all these different types of accessories for your doll house. Feel free to leave your comments and again, thank you for watching.